I'm Kat Aniba, and thank you so much for tuning in to Hala Hala, your one stop for the latest in entertainment news, lifestyle features, and community events. The Philippine Independence Day Foundation and the City of Carson is putting together once again the Philippine Independence Day celebration happening in Carson. Here to tell us more is PIDF's President June Aglipay and Officer and Trustee Fred Doc Dossel. Welcome, guys. Thank you so much for being here today. We're glad to be here. Thank yeah, you again for the time. Mm -hmm. Now, um, PIDF has been hosting this event for years. We were talking about it maybe over mm -hmm. at least 10 years. Right? Yes, yes, more than a decade, yeah. yeah. And it's I go there almost every year. It gets mm -hmm. bigger, more <laughs> popular, great entertainment, mm -hmm. fun-filled event. Tell us a little bit more about this year's event. Well, this year, it's just like you know any other year, but there's always something new to expect. Mm -hmm. um, of course, the highlight, of course, we have a lot of uh, cultural dancing, of course. We have our uh, shout out to Sampagita and also Calcet Long Beach um, group uh, pack that will be also performing a couple of the right. numbers mm -hmm. respectively and so mm -hmm. we're also inviting other um, ethnic groups uh, performing for okay. a celebration oh, nice. and um, lately um, it's kind of be looking like it's going to be a tradition right now I, I don't know I don't want to uh -huh. jinx it uh, at the end of the program you right. know we're going to have Zumba Ooh. Yes. <laughs> so everybody that's there can also participate? Yes. yes. Keyword yes. Zumba, guys. Zumba. <laughs> yeah. That's very popular within our community, Definitely. right? Definitely. Uh -huh. Fred, are you going to be Zumbaing? <laughs> <laughs> or trying, at least. <laughs> trying. Yeah. But the, the good thing about our event is that Carson, uh -huh. as most folks in Southern California know in right. terms of uh, population density mm -hmm. we definitely have you know the Filipino the Philippine American population yeah. uh, and so you know the fact that like you mentioned earlier PIDF has mm -hmm. been hosting Philippine Independence Day for the last roughly 14 years now yeah. but in all reality the Independence Day celebration has been celebrated in the city of Carson for right. A little over 20 years now, oh, yeah. <laughs> since the early it's 90s. That more than like two uh, decades, so at least. you know, it's yeah. definitely an institution, uh -huh. and uh, we're fortunate enough that Philippine Independence Day Foundation, mm -hmm. um, you know, has kind of taken ownership of this event, yes. and it obviously wouldn't be possible were it not for the community. Mm -hmm. And when I talk about community, it's not just the performers. We right. have a lot of talented ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. We have vendors. Right. Uh, you know, we obviously have sponsors mm -hmm. that are involved that make this possible mm -hmm. but the community that attends yes that adds to the vibrancy yeah. of the event so that's exciting it's for sure it's so yeah. true just showing uh, seeing everybody support yes. one another i exactly. love that and there's also delicious food oh, yes. <laughs> it wouldn't be a right? filipino party without the food <laughs> exactly <laughs> seriously i mean you got uh, tita ennas i mean for the first time we're, we have Goldilocks going to oh, be there you too. Do. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Because they just opened their store in Carson. Carson. Oh, yeah. nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. And I mean, of course, we have all the wonderful uh, vendors that's going to be there, you know, for the, the health part, right. the uh, real estate, and also, you know, financial management. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have, let's just say, Sari Sari. Yes. And the yeah. culture boot. It's always a popular right. uh, course headed by. Uh, Char Charlene Aglipay, and mm -hmm. of course, we'd like to thank the Filipino community of Carson who is participating on the culture boot, and of course, that is the first group that put together the Philippine Independence Day celebration in Carson. Oh, see. And wow. I'm very proud, you know. Next to, I'm very proud of having the Chamber of Commerce, you know, in the yes. house. Yes, <laughs> yes sir. Yeah. That's and right. And many other associations. I didn't mention that, but you are also part of the Chamber of Commerce. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, been yeah. fortunate enough to have been uh, one of the founding directors of our chamber, and uh -huh. uh, we were actually just had our induction gala uh, last month right uh, and we're definitely grateful for LA 18 to, mm. to help out with that yes so, thank of you so course much. Yes. yeah reaching out to our community now Fred mm. I know this is your second year being part of PID yes was correct. there anything in your mind that said okay I wanted I want to add this to the event <laughs> <laughs> I think the, uh, you know I definitely defer quite a bit to you know to the more established mm -hmm. officers mm -hmm. um, obviously respecting their experience right uh, but what I you know really tried to, to implement in my role mm -hmm. as uh, secretary and PRO is right. uh, you know really leveraging the the media contacts right. that we have right. i.e. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, yes. Hello TV yeah. uh, but on top of that as well uh, using our social media right. uh, you know the great equalizer so oh, to speak yeah. so yeah. that's something that especially for you know for the the youth mm -hmm. the young at heart yes. <laughs> uh, it's definitely a great tool to, uh, to to get the community uh, you know take ownership of yeah. our event and yeah. obviously that's what you know kids these days I don't even right. say 
say internet doing I this, know. it's now internet this. <laughs> right. So, <laughs> internet. It's so true. <laughs> <laughs> now, June, mm -hmm. it's um, first year as president. Yes. <laughs> yes. Full term. <laughs> yeah, full term. Now, what's the experience been like? Oh, my goodness. I mean, it's not it's nothing the same. I mean, it's just the mm -hmm. same old thing. Even before yeah. I was president, uh -huh. I mean, sometimes being part of this, uh, the foundation and, right. of course, being part of this planning, you don't have no agenda or, you know, what, but for me, mm -hmm. I mean, ever since joining the planning, you know, of the celebration in right. 2000, you know, you, you gain a lot of passion and, and that's pretty much how it is. If you want to have passion for your culture and, mm -hmm. and work with other people, especially, you know, learn from other people right. how to plan and, you know, and sometimes you like to incorporate with other associates para to Molong, you know, help the other right. groups to plan their, you know, events. And uh, yeah. for me, it is a great... A blessing and it's a wonderful thing being part of this foundation mm -hmm. uh, to really put this together and of course you know like I said learning from other people and right. inviting other people and that that's yeah. my role as president I right. want to invite more people and yeah. hopefully next year you know I want to continue doing that and really you know right. have everyone engaging and, right. and take ownership I've already reached out to you know the sororities the fraternities mm -hmm. um, the Kiwanis or Key Club or the Circle yeah, Kers, right. especially you know, to the Filipino clubs, who, you know, who are active and all of that. Right. You know, well, to, I can definitely see that, like the past several years, and it is a free event. Oh yes, right, free mm -hmm. event all day long mm -hmm. at um, Veterans Park in Carson. That's right. Correct, yeah. um, if we want more information, where do we go? There is the website, mm -hmm. which is the uh, Philippine. Philippine Independence Day Foundation mm -hmm. uh, dot org. You can uh -huh. also Google it in the Google search right. engine, right? Or any type of search social engine. Media. <laughs> yes, exactly. social media. Yes, social media. Yeah, especially Facebook. Right, yeah. and it Thank all you, it all <laughs> takes place June eleventh. But also, you guys have another event that you want to talk that about, right? That is correct. It yeah. th helps the prelude to you know bring in the crowd. Mm -hmm. uh, June fourth is the uh, basketball tournament okay. that we have. Uh, it's going to be held at the Carson Park. Yes, the, the championship. championship. Thank you, the championship. <laughs> exactly. We've already started the um, the tournament, right. I believe, the two yeah, Saturdays. Yeah, it's, it's every, every weekend for the month of May. Uh, okay. We've been uh, hosting nice. basketball games at, the, right. at Carson Park in mm -hmm. Carson, obviously, mm -hmm. uh, and June 4th is going to be the, the championship, championship game. So yes. that should be exciting, obviously. Uh -huh. okay. We know how uh, how passionate Filipinos yes. get about that. Oh, yeah, <laughs> now, definitely. is this also a free event? Or, yeah. mm -hmm. Oh, yes. wow. Yes. Oh, yeah. Free? Free. And on top yeah. of that, there's going to be a, uh, definitely a party afterwards. So there will <laughs> be course, a lecture. Of yes. Oh, there will. Yes, there will be. <laughs> Save some skin for me. <laughs> for more info for both events, where can we go? <laughs> uh, just, like I said, the, the website, okay. Philippine Fantasy Foundation, uh, okay. Dot org. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Fred. Thank, Thank you, June, for sharing. These hmm? two very important events. Again, don't miss Philippine Independence Day celebration put together by Philippine Independence Day Foundation. All happening June 11th. It's free. The information is on your screen. We'll be back.